Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. I wanted to do uh, a video today on containers that I use for freezing. I've had many, many questions uh, in the uh, reply section under videos and personal emails and on and on. And I've tried to answer every time about the containers I use, but I thought I'd just do a video and make everything much, much easier. All right, first of all, the containers are salad containers. And this one, uh, I used some of this this morning in our smoothies. And this is uh, market side, uh, organic, and it comes from Walmart. Now, Walmart was carrying other brands like Earthbound, I don't know what happened, but now their brand is uh, market side. And what I do is, of course, we use up the salad or the greens first, and then I just simply uh, remove the uh, little tag things on them or the labels and wash them and reuse them. Now, you cannot put these in the dishwasher. They will simply shrink up. You also certainly cannot put them in the microwave, but they work great in the freezer because they're so stackable. All right, so that's the salad we had this morning, and here are all the different containers. Now, this container is earthbound, and I got this at Bilo, and uh, this is just uh, baby kale, a different kind of baby kale because it's a dark green blend, and I'm going to actually use this in a dish uh, this kale for our meal today, but anyway, I will simply, uh, when I finished using everything in here, I will simply wash it, and there's a container. Okay, the other type uh, container is the uh, shorter one, uh, and this is market side again. This is some uh, banana bread that I fixed oh, about two weeks ago. And I just took it out of the freezer to show y'all. We've eaten about half of that. And then this container is a dole, uh, dole container. It's different. It's got the little grooves. There's what it looks like empty. And it's a much stronger container. And I definitely like these the best. But I can't always find dole salads, certainly not at Walmart but I can at Bilo and maybe Piggly Wiggly. But uh, anyway, I like this one best. It's my favorite because it's so sturdy. Now, I also use this container in my bathroom drawers to separate things, you know, like maybe uh, medicines, toothpaste and stuff like that, hairbrushes and all in the bathroom drawers because this fits perfectly in my bathroom drawers. And I usually have two in each one just to keep things separated. Okay, here's another market side. Of course, this is Walmart. And this is the smaller container. And it's just very useful for something like leftover biscuits or something like that. All right, now, this one is uh, has the pizza in it that we had yesterday. So hold on, because i got to put this back in the freezer, and we'll be right back. Okay, this is a dole container, and of course it's a bigger one, and I have not taken the label off this one yet, but I want to show you all how I do it, sort of. All right, so I take a, this is a little straight edge, straight edge razor blade, or you could easily use one of these ceramic knives, and what I do is just get it started on one end, like that. And then, take it, open it up. I don't make sure it doesn't get wet. And then from this side, pull it and run some hot water right over it as you're pulling it off. And you have to do it real slow so that it all comes off together. Now the dole is going to leave that printing on the back of this label right on the plastic, but that doesn't hurt a thing. Now, usually the bottom label is not as nice and easy to get off as the top one is. And I have used that Gooby Gone sometimes to get labels off, but then it involves a lot of washing to get that off of it. So, better to just pull it off slowly. There we go. See, it did leave that. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. The printing. Well, let me use this. 
see you can see the printing on the side it left that but anyway it will come off after a while so that uh, lid fits perfectly on this container and this will hold uh, sliced up a whole cake and you do get this one's pretty old you do get uh, you water spots and that kind of thing on them but you know it re that really doesn't hurt anything all right so again this by far is my favorite because it's so sturdy and these stack super well in the freezer all right now that brings me to my next one the dates they come in a super strong container so I'm going to go ahead and open this one this came straight out of the freezer and I got these dates at Sam's Club in the produce department. So there you have it. And these are frozen because I, I bring them straight home and put them in the freezer. Now the lid on this fits very, very tight. So what you have to do is just take your scissors and make a couple of little slits on the corners. Like that, like that on at least two of the corners because the lid does fit very tight on these. And then you can take it off. It's very hard to get off. There we go. So, you do the same thing. I use my little razor blade cutter holding my hands under it and just be able to get up one little corner like that and then you can just pull it all the way off very slowly and it'll bring that uh, glue with it. All right, we're gonna take that off later. Now, what do I use these for? Again, these are real sturdy containers and when I get the dates at Sam's Club, I usually buy eight packs at one time. So I've used uh, five of the packs. I'm down to three packs in the freezer now. All right, so I use these. This is vegetable soup, enough for two servings for me and Mr. Bucky. It works out really, really well. And they are very stackable. In fact, in the freezer now, I think I've got four different servings for soup. And I even freeze the cornbread. So that way, when we have soup, I've got cornbread and I've got the soup. No big deal. And they stack very nicely. And they're not flimsy at all. They're very sturdy. There's what an empty one looks like. And uh, let me see if I can find an edge here. Doesn't look like I had to cut. Yeah. Can you all see that I had to cut it? You have to do that in order to get them off. And they go right back on. And again, they get water spots on them. And it, drying them doesn't really help. They still get the water spots on them. Now here's another market side. This was a smaller salad. And they come with this little edge on them. Can y'all see that little edge? And what I do, just to make them fit better in my freezer, I just take a pair of scissors and just go right down the edge of that. And usually it has them on both sides. Just cut that little thing off. And now it works much better in the freezer like this because when you have this little extra thing on, you can't get another one right next to it. So I just cut that off. So there we go on that one. And I usually uh, store leftover biscuits and things like that in this smaller one. But again, my favorite is this one, which is the earthbound container and the one that the dates come in just because they're much sturdier. Now, I still use the others. I definitely still use them, but they're, see they're a little flimsy, but they still work super well. Now, this one uh, had sandwich bread in it from October, and I've quit putting labels on them because they're just impossible to get off. Well, I said that, and this one's going to come off. Well, no, it's not. Yeah, sort of come off. It's just a lot of trouble because the fact is that you can see through these containers and easily know what's in them because you can see right through the container. Yeah, see, that didn't come off very good. And here's two more that I had labels on, which I regretted. 
But anyway, uh, the other thing that I use these for, and, and these are the, hold on, let me get this. All right. I use these for cookies. These are Big Newtons. Mr. Becky and I both love these. And that way I can leave them sitting out. You know, just take them out of the container and put them in this little container. And it just works a lot better. Plus it looks nicer than leaving them in the little carton, which doesn't really uh, keep a lot of the air off of them. So there they are. All right, y'all. So um, this should help you to do with what containers I use. I've had so many people uh, ask about how I do that. My dog's drinking water, y'all. Sorry. At least he's not barking. Peppy, are you drinking water? He's drinking water. Anyway, uh, so that's it for the containers. Uh, everything, you know, something comes in the containers. And uh, there are probably many other type of containers you could use out there that I haven't even discovered yet. But uh, the particular ones with uh, that have some kind of reinforcement on the bottom or the side of them, and particularly this one, which has a lot of reinforcement. It's very, very sturdy, which is exactly why I use them in the bathroom. I don't know where the lid for this one is. But anyway, it gets very annoying because none of the lids will fit anything but the one they came on, y'all. It gets very annoying, and I got so annoyed here a couple of months ago. I just took a whole bunch of them and just threw them in the garbage. I was set that up trying to find a lid that would work, and as a result, I have two that do not have lids. But you know what I use these for? They are excellent little dish pans in the sink. They even fit in the RV sink. I've got one out there too, and they're so sturdy. So you know when you want to just uh, quickly wash up something, you don't want to run the dishwasher. These make great little dish pans. Plus, you have enough room in the rest of the sink to rinse something off or whatever. So anyway, all right. So that's uh, it for the uh, containers. I hope this will answer the question. So from now on, when someone asks me what containers I use, I'm going to just reference this video. That way it, it gives a little more thorough uh, explanation than just typing in a reply. So again, market sides, and that's the Walmart brand, I think, of salads. And the smaller one, and they come in the larger one, but a little more flimsy than the earthbound and a little more flimsy uh, than the other one, which is what I just had here. I've forgotten what it was now. Uh, uh, not, I, I got to look. I'm getting old. It's dull. Both of those make excellent uh, containers when you get your salads in those containers. And uh, but anyway, usually I'm just I'm just at Walmart. I don't want to have to stop anywhere else, but. Uh, the other day I did because I wanted some of the uh, dark green baby kale and so I stopped and of course now I've got the container now I don't think this smaller one is as substantial as this one see you can't really bend it like you can the littler ones but anyway so yeah we've got a pretty big supply of them I've got my freezer full of them and the great thing that I like about them for the freezer is they're stackable and you can see through them. Like you can tell that's dates. You, you don't have to look for a label. You can tell that's dates. In the same way, I know that that's cornbread or it could be cake, but I know it's cornbread. So anyway, and the other one I know is vegetable soup. So now I don't keep stuff in my freezer. I would say the very longest would be four, maybe five months, maybe, okay? We have a pretty big turnover of stuff in and out, in and out. Uh, so I don't know how long stuff would keep in these. Now, uh, if I put any kind of meat in one of these, I do not reuse it. I, I just go ahead and throw it away. And the same thing happens with soup that's got grease in it around the sides because it just becomes impossible to wash all that grease off. It's just, just throw them away. It's much easier. But if you've just had something in them like 
cornbread. You can easily wash them out and absolutely reuse them again. All right, y'all. That's it for the containers. I hope this is helpful to y'all. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Bye.